Everybody needs a little crisp in your life, don't you? I normally don't cook desserts, but today we're gonna do a dessert on that Green Mountain Grill. Pear Raspberry Crisp. All right, we're gonna start off by peeling some pears. So we're gonna quarter them and core them. A little tr trick here. Put them on here and just kinda slice down to get the core out. We're gonna slice them up thick. We don't get them too thin, they get mushy. And we have, already have some that we've done earlier. Some raspberries in there. So we're gonna put the pears, add a little bit more raspberries. Okay, then what you wanna do is add some lemon juice. This will keep the pears from turning color. Mix it up a little bit. All right, once we have the lemon juice in there, we're gonna put some cinnamon and nutmeg some tapioca starch or some cornstarch, sugar, and a pinch of salt. So we don't want to over mix it to uh, break this, the raspberries down. So now we're gonna make the crumble. So we're gonna start off with some rolled oats, brown sugar, we got some cinnamon and nutmeg, some butter, and last, some flour. So we're gonna mix this up, crumble. The best way to do it, I'm told, is to mix it with your hands. And you don't wanna over mix it, you wanna make it clumpy. So we wanna make sure we mix the butter in there, but you don't, you wanna mix it in there, but you don't really want to over mix it. Okay, we're gonna take an oven safe dish. We're gonna spray it with some non-stick spray. We're gonna add our pears and raspberries in here and then we're gonna put this on there you just don't want to sprinkle it you want to have some clumps in there so that gives you some texture so when you bite into that you know, everybody wants that little chunk of good nugget there so there you go once that's done put it on the uh, GMG we're gonna bake it at 350 for 25 to 35 minutes all right, the crisp is on. Let's make the bourbon whipped cream. We're gonna take some heavy cream, make sure it's cold. You got a cold bowl. Start to whisk a little bit, get some air in there. Once you get some air incorporated, we're gonna add a little vanilla. This is this, this nice bourbon here. We got a bourbon in here. We're gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar. We'll sweeten it up a little bit and whisk away. It helps when you got cold cream in a cold bowl. It's like a workout. It develops your uh, your whisk hand muscles. You can use an electric beater. I just think this is more therapeutical. Tastes like bourbon whipped cream to me. You might need a little bit of bourbon. <laughs> Our crisps should be done. All right, now we want to let this sit for 10 minutes to kind of cool down a little bit. All right, after it's cooled down for about 10 minutes, we want to dish this up. We're going to grab some of this delicious bourbon whipped cream. We're not going to be stingy on it. We're going to put a good dollop, finish it off with a little bit of raspberries. There you go. Pear raspberry crisp with bourbon whipped cream.